Hello brothers and sisters in Christ. Once again, this is the Judgmental Adventist, George Tasker. And tonight I want to deal with the subject of the question, Should I prove the existence of God to an atheist? A former atheist going by the name of Howard Storm once asked Jesus in a near-death experience, why he didn't provide irrefutable evidence for his existence to the world by doing something like writing a message of his existence in the sky in burning letters. Christ's response to him was, because that would be coercion. A number of times in my engagement with atheists, they proclaimed to me that if they were God, they would prevent evil from occurring. In essence, they have admitted they would become like the devil, exercising rule by force. This very thing is what would make them unworthy to be God in the first place. There are also a number of problems with such a proclamation. The most important one is that everyone has different ideas of what is evil and what is not. Even amongst the atheist community, you will find them disagreeing with each other on points of what is evil and what is good. But they all have one thing in common. They would be gods of force for the purpose of preventing evil. It is God's objective that by the time sin has finally been destroyed on this planet, that his whole creation will be of one mind on what is good and what is evil. He will achieve this through freedom, as opposed to force. More important to God than anything else is freedom. Now, believe it or not, this not only includes the freedom to do good, but also the freedom to do evil. It also includes the freedom to believe, but also the freedom to disbelieve. This is the opposite to the paradigm of the world, where anything that is believed is believed through force of logic and evidence. This became clear to me as I one time watched a master's presentation being carried out. The person doing the presentation completed it, and then the lecturers in the theatre got to work on him. It was clear that their objective was to find every possibility to find an alternative explanation for the results. Given that this was a presentation on chemistry, it became evident to me that the default position in science is the position of doubt. It was only after all other possible alternatives had been considered and found wanting that the original position presented could seriously be considered as the truth. Now this leaves us with a problem. The kingdom of God comes to us from a position of belief. Jesus was often challenging those he interacted with in regard to their belief or lack thereof. Now this leaves me as a believer in God and his word with a problem. Suppose an atheist, as they often do, demands of me a proof that God exists. Suppose that I were up to the task and through force of logic, reason and evidence were able to prove God's existence to him. Then the very act of doing so renders him unsuitable for God's kingdom as it has been through coercion that I've managed to persuade him of God's existence. So how do you tackle an atheist plea that you prove to him that God exists? It is my thinking that the best response to such a plea is to inform them. I'm sorry, but I will not do what you ask. If I take you up upon your request and I manage by force of logic, reason and evidence to get you to agree that God does exist, then I have rendered you an unsuitable subject for God's kingdom. You may then explain to him what he needs to do. Tell him that until he wants to find God, that he will never find him. You, 
can also tell him that the best you can do is demonstrate to him that he holds a world view that contains a lot of unproven and contradictory assumptions, and that pointing these out will open up questions in his mind about the ultimacy of reality. I'll address those in further detail in part two. My conclusion is, never try to prove the existence of God to an unbeliever. Forcing them to believe through logic, reason and evidence renders them unworthy of the salvation that you desire them to gain. I'm George Tasker, your Judgmental Adventist.